Rodney, a little bit of trouble there as Cameron strips into the puck. Here comes Hunter. Cameron is trying to score. Short-handed goal for the Belleville Bowl. Just the tonic they needed. Robbie Drummond didn't try to hold up here, and he went into Brown. That's goaltender interference right there, and that started the whole play. And then all of a sudden we have a melee, and we see number six, the Saginaw Spirit, as you'll see it down low right in front of the net right here as Brown takes a shot at Brandon Pruss, and Brandon Pruss turns around. He's the one that's here for slashing. Two minutes for spearing. You take your pick. Volabic and Thompson had something going this entire shift. It culminates in this. Volabic takes a shot at Thompson. Thompson spins him around, shoves his stick into Volabic. He goes down hard, and we'll see what referee O'Neill out. And uh, another nice play stitched together by the London Knights involving uh, Dylan Hunter and Robbie Shrimp as Volabic was shoved. McDonald loses the puck for a moment in front of for Shannon who scores. So a miscue in the London zone has opened the door for the Barry Coles to climb back into this hockey game as Shannon is there. And led by Simicalis. Peter Simicalis involved in the deal that's not Chris Hewlett go the other way. Hewlett's been very good for the Ottawa 67. Dangerously in front of the net. A rather precarious defense of the Generals. No goal light went on that we saw. I think he's going over to have a chat with the goal judge right now is Scott Oakman to determine if this is a 3 nothing hockey game or if the Generals are still only behind by a pair. As the deliberations continue, Jordan Foreman was the knight that was in there to poke it past Gibb. However, the only drama is to determine... Nick, Nick Van Hurt puts on the brakes. And Jordan Foreman banks it past the goaltender who never had a chance. Well, Brian Bickle's got to think a little bit right now. He had the puck behind his net. He's not a defenseman coming back. He's not used to having the puck behind his own net and carrying it out. But you cannot carry the puck out and try to walk out to the front of your net. Right there was a key mistake, and Foreman capitalizes on it. He poke checks Bickle. The goaltender Guadagnolo is always already on his right hand, left hand side of the net, looking to see where Bickle's going. And Dale Hunter has had some suspensions handed out earlier this season for being bounced from hockey games. So now Jeff Perry will take over behind the bench for the London Knights. He'll have some words for Washburn. I can imagine. Uh, well, this that, is that was what you. Hard on the forecheck. Gary tries to play the puck. Press foot gets caught up with Gary. A couple of more before it's all said and done. Thompson right in the thick of things. Ian Letizia doing a little fencing. That's probably the main attraction. Well, Thompson and Letizia break away from the pack. As Letizia keeps pushing him in the face, you don't want to push Thompson in the face too many times. I believe Frank Redeker got the initial penalty on this call with 155 left. Here as he was hauled down on the play, trying to make his way to the front of the net. And Brandon Prust is not at all enamored by that particular call. As he runs into another man, that's Mitch Mowdy one more time. And so Prust is going to get the gate. I assume. Whistles a shot towards Dennis. Dennis makes the save. Prost goes in. Dennis blocks. He was just trying to jar the puck loose. Brandon Press goes hard to the net. He sheds the check of Caruso right here. He finds Adam Dennis right in front of him. And in referee Ryan Carroll's eyes, he didn't make an effort to stop before he made the broadcasters and uh, step aside, and he does. No, look at this. A play by the Wolves as Dubbin snapped it off the wall, and Coleman with some dexterity. 